to the tongues again. Uh, today I'm just going to be doing a very um, a sit down video with you guys. I know it's been a while that I haven't been up uploading regularly. I've been just caught up with a few things in here there. So anyways, um, hopefully you enjoy watching this video. I'm just going to do a quick sit down, a little chit chat here and there um, telling you guys um, about my natural hair journey and why I choose to be natural. So anyways, um, thank you for tuning in and hopefully you enjoy this video. Otherwise, let's get started and start Please, everybody, um, you've seen so far a lot of people uh, having their own channel about the natural hair. And one of the questions a lot of people will probably ask is like, why did someone decide to go natural? Um, for me, uh, the reason is why I went natural is because I just wanted to experience my own hair. And that's, that's the number one reason why I wanted to. Uh, because I haven't been able to experience my own hair for the longest time and it's been a really really long time uh, if you've read on my blog um, I'll, link the, I'll link the link down below in the description box so you can go read about my journey uh, how I have uh, gone through the process of different hairs I've relaxed my hair I've done different kinds of hair. Um, I've do, done different kind of things to my hair. I've started a little relaxing. I put weave. I put wigs. I cut my hair. I put color. Um, braids. Um, yeah, hands down to braids. You can't get wrong with that. But all comes down to how long would you continue doing that to yourself, or how long would you continue exploring and exploring these different kinds of hairs. When you can just sit back and be like, hey, you know what? Why don't I not even embrace my own hair and maybe do different things with it, you know? Um, and that's one of the reasons as to why it made me to um, just sit back and just take it all in. It's like, you know what? Let me just do this thing. And, um, and that's one of the things that really motivated me to do that. Uh, second point is that... Um, it's more of a self-growth as a person, uh, more like a self-reflection, a point in your life whereby you're like, you know what, I think I need to embrace who I am. And who you are, to me, is whatever makes you you. So, for all the women out there who have the, ha the kind of hair texture that I have, not just my kind of hair texture, all the Afro women, if you are able to embrace your own hair, just do it for you. It's a, it's a matter of self-growth. Uh, it gives self-confidence as a person. Wear those nuts or wear whatever the kind of hair you have, what kind of hair texture you have. Wear them. Embrace them. Go wherever you go. Um, I've been doing a lot of things that I've never thought I would do. Like, uh, in terms of wearing my hair out, I would leave my hair, take care of my hair, let it be natural. I go to work with natural hair, which is something I would not do. Back in the days when I was a college student, I wouldn't go to class with my own naps. I would put in, I would put in like um, I'll put in um, a wig or a weave. And um, one of the things that really, really hits you at one point in your life is when someone asks you when you have a weave or a wig on, "Oh my God, that's really nice hair. Is that your hair?" You be like, "Oh my gosh!" And then you're torn between what you what would you tell somebody, you know? Um, what would you tell somebody that, oh, it's actually not my hair, um, it's a weave, you know, all these things. And I think for me, I just want to move away from that point in my life where I have to explain myself, you know. I don't want to explain myself, oh, this is a weave, actually, you wear it like this, oh, actually, this is a weave, you actually see it in, this is how you do it, you know. And that's some of the things as a person, I just want to walk away from that. and. Those are some of the things that just really, really hit me and it's like, you know what, I don't want to explain myself to anybody and and that's the step that have really given me that reason as to why I really want to go natural as a person. And also, uh, for me, one of the big things as well, the third point I'll say is you want to, you want to do this for later so that you be example to, to the people around you, to be example to your children, you know. And it is something really important because you set a goal for yourself. It's not going to benefit you. It's going to benefit some people out there, you know. 
Another thing that I also wanted to, um, this is the reason as to why it made me go natural, is the fact that um, it's, it's more of a self-acceptance. I already mentioned it already. Self-acceptance, be confident in whatever, whatever kind of hair you have. Uh, it builds self-confidence. It also builds, number thing that I have actually really made me to go natural is I want to I want to see how like I know I'm a patient person but it is a very tempting stages in your life in terms of going natural because the characteristics of a, an afro woman are, are are actually of their hair is just associated with how it's it's a very kinky hair it's a nappy hair it's all these things but I think society has just really shaped her mind to think the alternatives are better you know what I mean and I think it's the time for all the Afro women to just just put your feet down and take whatever it is and use what you have and and um, and be able to you know to be able to embrace what you have I know it's uh, it's going natural is not one of the problems to solve all your problems I can say it's a little section of what makes you you as a person in our society today. So this is some of the things that you know a lot of black women out there would wouldn't know, but it's a very essential part of growing up as a you know an Afro woman. And um, yeah, those are a few of the things that I would like to share. Otherwise, um, and then lastly, I think it's a really good place to build patience. As a person, because if you're very, um, if build patience in terms of how patient are you with your own hair, and with my own hair, you know, um, just consider your own hair as your own hair, you know. Um, you can never pick up uh, how how someone take care of their own hair to be the way you want to take your own hair. All the Afro women out there have their own different texture, so for women of my hair type we are like a little bit more to the extreme to like let's say to the extreme where it's a bit kinky it really dries out a lot and it's a very shrink so it's a shrinkage so this kind of those types of hair which is one of my kind is one of those uh, hair types that people can easily give up because you're not born in your life where you're like in your own let's say a natural hair journey you read there you'll be like oh my gosh this is crazy I don't want to do it I don't want to do this anymore and you give up and walk away and it's really given me that courage to just be patient enough to take care of my own hair just the way it is and don't be surprised that things will change and I've had an amazing you know I've had an amazing one year of going natural and and I'll definitely not take this back you know what I mean I'll keep doing what I can do and yeah that's all I can say everybody so anyways if you're um, a person who is also uh, transitioning to go natural uh, if you have a few questions you'd like to ask um, on this question on this video just leave them down below and I'm, I'm ready to you know to answer any questions you like to ask otherwise uh, thank you everybody for tuning in to watch this video I hope I'll see you guys later and have a good one bye